ya kwamba utiatimiza ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu amen As once we invite, let's sing and then feel free to sing and be happy. Amen. I want to give you a secret. What he doesn't know, the Lord knows about it. Where there is no way, God wants to open that way. And we are the ones who are going to do that job. Mega blessings. Now, you want to get a tour of the Marika Kujja to tour Indonesia? Yeah, we invite the one who can sing for us. Afike, Afimeche, Wimbo Moja. Give us one song. Na sisi sote tushangrie katika bwa. Speak happy, let it be let it rejoice in the Lord. We are so happy. We are so happy.
singing. Tunaendelea. We continue. Jioni ya leo jioni ya furaha. This evening is the happiness evening. Lakini tunataka kuchukua hatua nyingine. But we want to take another step. Nina imani kwamba tuna wageni. I have a faith that we have visitors. Tunamuomba mchungaji wa kanisa la mlima wa and we're going to ask the pastor of the, uh, the mountain of uh, olives. Maybe she may welcome the visitors. I'm going to welcome the pastor, the one that uh, his wife stood up only. Hallelujah. We were so happy the time when we received an invitation. And this is the work of God that He has called us to do. Thank you for Pastor Anna, a Reverend Pastor. When we saw the invitation, we were so happy. And we did something uh, about it. And we sent two cars to come before us. And then among those, there was my wife. Just like how she said earlier. And then the works uh, hold us back, and that's why we were late, and we got here now, uh, like we came yesterday. But we got here all year, but uh, we couldn't uh, attend the first service. So for our purpose, we were planning to start with you for our, on the first service in the morning. But it was impossible. So therefore, we are so happy for that we have gotten already. 
We do have a greetings from home for those who remain there. So they have sent us with greetings. This work which has been done at this time, you may be surprised. God has created something good that people doesn't notice or doesn't know. I want to say a few things, not, not a lot of words. For me, I didn't have thoughts of uh, arriving here. But we're here in America. For God's will to send us here. Where are we? I want you to understand that. Where are you meant? I want you to understand that. Way. If you have been chosen for the work of God, you need to work. And I see the pastors, I show you, it'd be like we have a short time. But even the next time, invite us. This is God's work that He put here so we can work it. And uh, we have the people that uh, we arrive together in the morning. They may stand up. Hallelujah! 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 We can't say a lot because we don't have the time. Thank you for your invitation and we will be together until tomorrow morning. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Mbapia, Tungaji, Tungaji, Mjarikyo, Damiyano, Pastor Damiano, you may stand up. Welcome and greet the church. Hallelujah! Therefore, choirs, Virginia, the ones who came from Virginia, Pennsylvania, 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 we are putting you close to us, welcome, may be blessed with us, and may God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mercure. Mercure, you may stand up. Pastor Joseph. Yes, 
Richmond. The choir from Richmond, Virginia. You may stand up. And all other members, they may stand up. Those are the ones that I came with. May God bless you for your invitation. Let us save time. You know, when I was Amen. Amen. Baba, when I was upset, Amen. I thank for all the beloved ones who are here. Brothers, can you say We said the evening of today is going to be the evening of Job. So, what's following is to read the Bible. So the one that we gave uh, the verse to read in Ephesians. So Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 through 3. And after that. There was a mother from Pennsylvania. She will stand up and pray. And Pastor Oremo will follow. Kwa hiyo, na wasi, mimi nilie mfungwa katika wana mwenye mwenene kama inavyo wa inavyo wa stahiri wito wenu mwenye itua kwa unyekevu wote na kwa upo kwa uvumilivu mkichukuliana mkichukuliana katika upendo na kujitahidi kuhifadhi umoja wa roho katika kifungo cha amani ama
5 no. 5 no. 5. 5. Wimbo moja. Siko ku give us one song. Ni vile vitafuata. Karibu.
Acha. Ningetaka kuona mchungaji sanabe kutoka Kanada ikiwa yuko karibu anaweza kufika na kuomea sadaka. Mchungaji sanabe Pierre Hayupo Kuna mchungaji acha tumwitwe mwenye yuko pamoja na Sami Amaka kuniambia sana. Eh? Mama Malika mukalia Mungu na shirika Sita mzako ile Yupo yote kwanza mwingine na dunia chini ya uzo wako Hata tukuinue kwa hali na mengine ambayo tunafikiria mbele ili Mungu tuonyeshe ni haya mamoja ya moja wapo ya yale ambayo Mungu anahitaji kwetu tukusifu. Baba tunakutolea jasho na kazi zetu. Ili tuweze kulinganisha. Tuweze kupima. Tuweze kuonyesha kwamba tunatoka. Kwa sura kubwa ya kukumbuka jinsi ulivyotoa kwetu kama sana. Wana Yesu ulijitoa lote. Hukaa huko na shaka. Huko wale usiwati katika kujitoa kwako. Nitoa mimi. Ukawa mazalamu kwangu. Ukatakatizwa kwa sadaka za gani ya kale? Ambazo zilizikwamba zareta kumuzi lakini sivyo wana sikuwezi. Bali zilizikwamba. Ukawa sadaka kamili
kuongea kitu kimoja. Nikwambie na mimi nikiambia, Bwana pewe sifa. Amen. Tunakubali kwamba Mungu anafunua maneno yake katika njia tofauti. Haleluya. Amen. Ametupatia Biblia ili tujifunze neno la Mungu. Ametupatia watumishi watuambie neno la Mungu. Lakini Mungu kwa maana shetani anazusha njia nyingi za kuangamiza wanadamu, ameleta njia nyingine. Haleluya. Amen. Anachukua watu anawapeleka kule kusini. Kuwaonyeshe. Watumishi wa Mungu Asemi ona iki, ona iki, ona iki. Ludi ya wendo wambi ya wana wana wangu, wana pewe sisi. Ndumi shumo taka pele kwa huko. Ata kutona tuko yaki, alikuwa dani ya kanisa, alikuwa mtumishi, alikuwa mwimbaji, alikuwa na wanya kazi, lakini na mkuta, katika fasi ya mamojeo, katika kati kama mtu wa kanda hiyo. Alikuwa mwona, naka mtambua. Akasema tafazali, tafazali. Naenda nudi huko. Naenda kwa jamaa zangu. Uwambie waliokuwa na muda wa kumwita Mungu na kusikia wayaache yale matendo mabaya. Bwana kwa sifa. Amen. Asemi naenda ukawambie. Mahali hapa nilipo mimi nateseka. Sikujua. Ningejua kama nitakuja hapa kama nimetuguza mali, lakini naenda uwambie. Waliokuwa na muda wa kumwita Mungu, waliokuwa na muda wa kusikiliza neno la Mungu, muda wa kutuku, naye muambie, lakini roho wa Mungu mara yake kumwambia usiende. Kumwambia la usiende. The angel told him no. Don't go. Huyu alikuwa anasikiliza maneno ya Mungu. This one was listening to the word of God. Huyu alikuwa na muda wa kutubu. This one has the time to confess. Kuna watumishi kule. There was a servant over there. Baba sikilize. Let them to listen to them. Mungu atuliza. May God forgive us. Hiyo. Nataka nikujulishe hiyo. I want to let you know this. Muda huu this time. Ungali mzima. You must be alive. Muda wako kuta wako kutengeneza. If your time and it's my time for us to confess. Kumona malaika mkatenda siende wakati. Then when I saw the angel refuse without going back, he bowed down and he started crying. Akanza kuli. He started crying. Nandoma na munda huu tulio kuwa nao. That's why this time which we do have. Ni munda kutengene za niyata. In the time to prepare your way. Ni munda kutengene za niyata. And then you say, Oh, I wish I could know. Yesterday we had a nice way of God. And in the morning we had the same nice way of God. When Paul was working for the Lord, he had some the temptations. He had some temptations. But he was still working for the Lord. And then he, he, he prayed for the people, people that get healed. And he said, God, heal me. I just feel some, uh, some temptation in the kingdom. And then he said, okay, my grace. Why am I not Amen. Say, my, the, my grace is not. When you are in the trouble, what will be Any trouble that will be in your family. They say they ask us, 
the kingdom, what does it look like? It's like a mustard seed. Amen. And through that mustard seed, when they planted it, brought so many fruits. Amen. Do not ignore the gift that you have. The, the gift which you do have God gave you that gift He knew has the job in you God knows the gift that you do have The gift of cleaning the heart in the church Has the great job in the, in, the, in the field of the Lord Amen 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 they gave me a short unit. We thank for the theme which you prepared. I want to read in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 3. We are going to read in the name of the Lord. Come again. Okay. Yeah. Chapter 4, verse 1 through 3. Okay. I therefore, the prison in the Lord, add you to what worthy of the calling you have received with all humility and gentleness, with patience, accepting one another in love, diligently. Keeping the unit of the spirit with the peace that bind as a man. We heard it in Swahili when they read earlier. There is a thing which is different a little bit in the world. I'm going to read it a little bit. And, and the Gerund Bible has the, has the head. The Bible doesn't say. The heading says this. And the calling of the Lord is the same, is, is, is in unity. Yes. And the calling of the Lord is the same, is in unity. And the calling of the Lord is the same, is in unity. And the calling of the Lord is the same, is in unity. Amen. Amen. The Lord. This theme is a, is a great one. I think the way that they just prepared it is the same which we had yesterday. You are called by the God. That is the same way we had in the morning. A gift that you are given. You are given because God comes. You heard the voice of God. As the Lord of God invited you. He invited you in his field. In the willingness or in the program according to the Lord of God. By humbling yourself. And by loving each other. And by forgiving each other. Praise the Lord. Even all the work without forgiveness, nothing will be done. Forgiveness. Amen. Other. 
Why was it? Praise the Lord. The background can be up. The signals the same for us. So the Nani of your goals you wear in the in the leaders. BP, let's have peace. In the singers, let us have May God forgive us. To God there is no change. Is and maybe you may say, my church of free Methodists cannot involve and cannot be unity. And be in unity. And be in love. Be in love. There is a different people, or certain people have been called. There is a many people have been called. Praise the Lord. I may mention a four names which have been called. Praise the Lord. Chapter 12, verse 1, if you start from there. Abraham has been called by God. And God is calling in a different way. And there is, there is people who are listening to the word of God or the, the calling of God and then they bring right to it. I am like a Amos. I am not. I am not like Isaiah. Because I saw a word in the big of series. But in Moses, Amos I am not like Amos. I am in the churches and the small churches outside. I mean, let's in the suburban. And then there was a, a, a man, a certain servant who they met him at it all. Now we are sending you to go work to the suburban area. There was churches which they send people in different areas. And some, maybe some of them they may say, no, I cannot go, I cannot go in the bush because I started this church in the in the town and I don't like to go outside of this church. He is not called by God. If you are called with God, you will obey the, the, the calling. Abraham heard the voice of God and said, Abraham, Abraham. I saw God in your family. You are, you are in your family. But today I'm telling you, leave Come over here. Go this side. I am going to show you where I'll bless you. Praise the Lord. Come out of your family. Come out of your tribe. Come out of the camp. Come out of your church. Today you are boasting yourself. I cannot join with those. No. God called. Come out. Amen. And Abraham accepted. Abraham accepted. And the Lord took him. 
Nikamwambia ukibaki hapo sitakubariki. God said if you remain there I will not bless you. Na wewe ndugu yangu ulio hapa. You as my brother. Ikiwa hauondoke katika fasi yule unayojivunia. If you are not coming out of the place that where you are about. Katika matendo yako unayoyaendea. In the way that you are going through. Mungu atakubariki. God will not bless you. Ibrahim alikubali. Abraham alipofikia sauti ya Mungu. When he heard the voice of God. He moved. Na Mungu hukakambariki. And God blessed him. Bwana apewe sifa. Praise the Lord. Haleluya. Amen. Kwa maana amekubali kuondoka. Because he accepted to leave. Amesikia sauti ya Mungu. He heard the voice of God. Amesikia wito wa Mungu. He heard the, the calling of God. Tunajua Sarai alikuwa mzee. You know Sarah was she was now so old. Alikuwa kule muhema. She was in the in the tent. Wakati malaika walikuwa wakipita wanaelekea Sodoma. When the angel was passing by to go to Sodom and Gomorrah. Ibrahim akawaona njoni njoni watu. Then Abraham saw them say come off come over servant of God. Je, ukiona mtumishi wa Mungu unamkaribisha nyumbani kwako? When you say servant of God are you welcoming him in your so, house? Si tunapata check. Yeah, napata check na mimi napata check. Sometimes you say no, I'm receiving a check and he's receiving a check. Karibisha watumishi wa Mungu. Welcome the servant of God. Haleluya. Amen. Asa mikae ni hapo. Then say sit down. Sala sala tengeneza tengeneza kaka. And then he went to Sarah. He went to Sarah say, "Can you prepare quick?" Alipomaliza kawaletea watumishi wa Mungu. When Sarah finished preparing brought to the servant of God. Wakakula wakakula. They ate they ate. Basi wakaondoka. And then they leave like they left. Pale, When they went to their way. Asema hapana. Then they said, "No." Hatuwezi kwenda bila kujua kumjulisha mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye tunasikia ndani ya tumbo eh kuliko sawa. We cannot go without telling the servant of God. Wakarudia wakamwambia Then they came back they told him Ibrahim Abraham sisi tunaenda huko We are going to this tunaenda Sodoma We are going to Sodom Tunaenda kuteketeza Sodoma We are going to destroy Sodom Kama na zambi ni nyingi kule Sodoma Because there is so many sins in that city Na tena neno lingine And the other ways Mwaka tutafika hapa mtakuwa mlishapata mtu When we come back the next year we will be still we will be already receiving a child Sala kwenye iko kule muhema akacheka Mimi mzee hivi was in the in the tent and then the laughing bwana apewe sifa amen mungu akisema inatimilika once the lord said it will be fulfilled haleluya amen ibrahim akamkumbuka lot abraham remember lot lot iko sodoma lot is there in sodoma oh please please msitengeteze sodoma do not destroy sodoma una watumishi wa mungu huko because i drive the servant of god over there una watumishi huko sodoma there is a servant over there wakasema Mungu alituambia tuteketeze. Then they said God told us to destroy. Mkiwa watu wa 40 mtateketeza. And if there is a 40 people are you going to destroy it? Kasema hapana tutateketeza. Say no we not the destroy. 35 30. And then start reducing the numbers the refer theory. Hatutateketeza. No we will not destroy. Bwana apewe sifa. Praise the Lord. Alikuwa katika shida Lot kule na mke wake. Lot with the family they were in Lakin the trouble. Lakini aliendelea kumtumikia Mungu. He continued working for the Lord. Katika mamilioni na mamilioni aliendelea kumtumikia Mungu. In the millions of people he continued to work for the Lord. Na wewe ukiwa katika fasi ambako kuko shida, endelea kumtumikia Mungu. You too when you are in the trouble time, continue to work for the Lord. Bwana apewe sifa. Praise the Lord. Kuna mama mmoja alikuwa anatoa ushuhuda. There was a certain mom who was stressed. Anapotoka kwa maomba akifika ndani ya nyumba. When she come from the uh, prayer room or intercessor, Bwana yakana kutana kupiga mateke and then once arrived she arrived at the house the, the husband would start beating her and then start pouring water upon her but she continued in the prayer praise the lord and then after that but she could stop th this prayer god couldn't answer lakini ameendelea kufanya maombi. She continue praying. Labda na wewe unaweza pata shida tofauti. Maybe same with you you may have a different problem. Mwimba tunaweza pata shida tofauti. A singer you may have a different problem. Nakusema hii kazi ya Mungu na iacha. Then you say no I stop this work of God. Hebu kondiki tanabuacha. This to become a connector. Unafundisha ni fujo fujo tu. Uh, once I teach I make it so noise. Lakini kubali katika fujo ndio utapata mibaraka. Bwana pewe sifa. Amen. Accept the truth that noise you are going to receive. Haleluya. Amen. Paulo akiwa anaenda anafungua fungua makanisa. Paul continue opening the churches. Akafika wakati anapanda Yerusalemu. When he was going to Jerusalem. Akafika wakati anaenda Rome. When time he went to Rome. 
Wanafunzi wakakwambia sapana usiende huko huko utautauawa. Then the seven they say no you cannot go there for a bro, I mean uh, master because they will kill you. Akasema neno nzuri. Then he's, he brought a nice way. Acha kunivunja moyo. He said don't not don't let, don't let me down. I'm going to preach the gospel. If it is to die I will die. Bwana apewe sifa. Amen. Kwa maana nimesikia sauti ya Mungu. Because I heard the voice of God. Haleluya. Amen. Wewe umesikia sauti ya Mungu, umesikia sauti ya mchungaji, umesikia sauti ya nani? You listen to the voice of God, do you listen the servant, I mean the voice of the servant or pastor? Who which voice are you hearing now? Katika Ibrahimu kwa maana ameondoka, Abraham because he, li, he left, akabarikiwa. He, he, he was Katika blessed. ule mtoto wake mmoja Isaac aliyozaliwa, on just one child Isaac Mungu akamubariki. God blessed him. Bwana apewe sifa. Amen. Tunajua kwamba Waisraeli wote wametoka katika tumbo ya Yakobo. We know all Israelites came in the in the womb of uh, Jacob. Bwana apewe sifa. Amen. Kuna mtu mwingine ambaye ameitwa na Mungu. There is another servant who been called by God. Haleluya. Amen. Ana wakati alikuwa kasa, Ana when she couldn't give a child a barren Hmm. She continued praying to God. She continued praying to God. Elkan the husband when he went to Jerusalem she, he, he loved her so much. When he arrived in Jerusalem and then said I don't have a child he continued to pray to God. Even the, 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 the tears came out. And Elkan came to her and said why are you crying? I am giving you the tenth, but the one who the ten percent, but the one who has so many children is giving only just one percent. What, what, what are you crying? Why are you crying? She continued to pray to God. Eli when he saw that lady was crying, lakini Mungu akasikia malalamiko yake na maombi yake. But God heard her voice. Katika shida zako zote endelee kumuomba Mungu. With all your problems continue to pray to God. Mungu akasikia sauti. God heard the voice. Maombi ya Ana kayasikiliza. And the, vo- the, the, the prayer of Anna, God heard it. Akamwambia wewe utachukua mimba. And he say you will rece- you, you, you will be pregnant. Basi ikafika muda wa kutelemka nyumbani Eli. Elikana akamchukua Ana na wakatremka nyumbani. When the time Na Biblia inatuambia katika usiku huo, they went home and the, the Bible told me in the same night akachukua mimba. She was cons- uh, Na akasema mimba hii and they said this pregnant. Utatoka mtoto mwanaume. To come a bo- baby boy. Na huyu nitamtoa kwa Bwana. And this baby I'll give to God. Bwana apewe sifa. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Wahubiri huwa tunapewa muda mdogo sana. The preachers they always give us few minutes. Lakini ni vile Penda. But is that what the God wants? We know he gave the birth to Samuel. Samuel loved, she, she loved Samuel so much. She dressed her, him and well. And then say, when the time arrived, I will take her to God. And then the time arrived, took her to God. He, 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 gave, he gave the child, she gave the child to the servant of God, Eli. And Samuel heard the voice of God. Every time he was going and sleep in the temple, Eli was sleeping somewhere over there. Samuel Samuel sleeping in the chair. Praise the Lord. You a singer, an elder. Maybe you are just coming only on Sunday at the church. Monday through Friday you are so busy. Hallelujah. Amen. Nilisema kama mimi niko kama Musa Amos sikumalizia kitu. Mimi mahali popote nilipoishi nilikuwa najiishia katika makanisa ya nyuma tu. I said I am like Amos where I left I lived I was living in the back 
churches, I mean in the bush state churches, let's say the suburban. When I was in Congo, I was in Ase. Ase is the, the city which is close to the, let's say behind there, back. I was an elder there. You see, sometimes leaves grow up and then they come in the church, grow in the, in the church. I was getting, I mean, the hoe, then I would start cleaning the church, I mean, the areas. When I went to Baraka, I was working in the Matata, another seed, another church which is a little bit Every day, morning, evening, I'll go in the church and start cleaning. Hallelujah. Amen. In America, where I am, we do have our churches a little bit behind. Abilene is the small city. We don't have the good church. Like we do have a small church. Every day, I'll get the machine and then start mowing. And then go in the church, start cleaning. We don't, we don't have a servant. I mean, somebody who work for the, that. The small gift that God gave to you, use it. By wanting what God didn't prepare for you, that's why we do have trouble or quarreling in the church. Once the time arrives, even though the person will, the, the will stop it. Continue with your, your gift that God gave to you. It's what the word we heard in the morning. And the Lord will open it for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Samuel was sleeping in the temple. And God came to call Samuel, Samuel. Small child. Went. They went to Eli and said, Eli, are you calling me? Eli was old and said, no, I didn't call you. Go back and sleep. And Samuel went back. Who has that test of coming in the church every day? It's not only Sunday. To the one whom the is better for you to go every day in the church because one day you will hear the voice of God. Amen. The singers they do they are working really hard because they have three days in a week. Samuel has been called first time, second time. And then he went to Eli. Eli said, no, I didn't call you. But God calling him. Samuel, when he went again, Eli said, go, once you heard the voice again, say, say this, Speak, I am your servant, I'm here. Praise the Lord. When God called him again, he heard the voice. Then Samuel responded, as your servant, I'm here. And the Lord is start talking to him. Start talking to him. And then go tell the children of Israel. In the house of Eli, it will be done something great. And the whole world will see it. Amen. Samuel heard the voice of God. Samuel heard the voice of God. And you are hearing the voice of God. And the voice of God is coming different ways. You may listen to the voice of God in your heart. There's some places that are saying, Who has this kind of gifts? You feel you do have that gift. I am here. Say, I am here. I want to work for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Isaiah heard the voice of God. And 
whom I'm going to send. I will send him in the, in the Israel team. As I say, no. My, my mouth is not clean. My mouth is not clean. But God chose him. Send the angels. And the, 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 the firewood. And they passed it through his mouth. And they say, your sins are forgiven. Amen. Chunguza katika matendo yako. Check in your in your ways. Umuite Roho Mtakatifu akutengeneze. Call the Holy Spirit to clean it. Ili Mungu akutume so that the Lord God can send you. Ili Mungu akutume na maneno yake so that God can send you with his way. Yesaya kisha safishiwa. Yesaya after being clean. Akasema sasa mimi niko hapa sasa. He say responded I am here. Unitume send me. Bwana pewe sifa. Praise the Lord. Na wewe mahali upo usimama sema mimi Bwana unitume. You are say God send me. Unitume niko karibu kwenda. Send me wherever I'm tayari kwenda. I am ready to go. Katika shida niko nazo. In the trouble in the trouble. Kwa siwa mtu akukogota sema acha kufanya kazi ya Mungu. No but we pull me beside. Kwa siwa mtu akukogota acha kumwia mda kumwimbia Mungu Mungu wako. No but we pull you out without praying to your God. Kuzuia usiende kumuomba Mungu wako. No but to stop you without going to pray. Kwa maana hakuitwa na mwanadamu because you are not a call by human being is God who called you and that day on the judgment I am not the pastor who will be judging you will be, be speaking by yourself because you have the, a, a mind of listening to the word of God amen when you heard the voice of God obey when you heard the voice of God, go to the servant of God as Samuel heard the voice of God. But the servant of today, as the singers just sang, as I am a servant too, maybe my, 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 my believer will tell me, I'm going to participate in this church today. Say, no, don't go over there. To this one. They will ask us. Oh, they will ask us so many. Where we just read and say, let's have unity and love. Let's have let have love. Let's have unity. Let's have that unity. Amen. Today you hear the the churches are created according to the camp where they came from. We came this way with our language. Let's do our, our church here. If you want, they stand on today. But God doesn't like that. The word which they told us, let's have unity. Praise the Lord. Lakini ole kwa mwenye naweza sikia sauti kama yenye kaini alisikia sauti. Hoe to the one who can listen to the voice like a Cain. Abeli sadaka yaki lipo chukuliwa. Abel when they received his offering. Na kaini sadaka yaki kakataliwa. And they received, they refused the Cain's offering. Mungu aliona katika moyo wa kaini na kaona ndani ya moyo wa. God saw in the heart of Cain. The king was saying, no, wait. Once we continue reading in the book of Genesis, you see in the book of Genesis 4, 6, God saw the heart which was in, in, Cain's, in Cain's book and then went to the listen to the voice. God came to him. And then to ask him, Cain, if you do good, are you going to be not be blessed? Cain had the voice. If you do good, are you, not going, to be, are you going to be not be blessed? Then say, where is your brother Abel? I say, he responded, am I his keeper? 
He is in front of God. He didn't get time to, to, to harm himself. He didn't get time to confess. God so already is going to destroy Abel. Abel. And then he refused the voice of God. And then said, let's go to the bush. When they went to the bush, he killed, he killed his brother. The, 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 the blood of Abel starts crying to God. And God heard the voice of Abel. And he said, what did you do, Cain? And before God was saying, he asked him, if you do good, are you going to be not be blessed? Go and confess to your, uh, to your, to your, to your brother. We are here dancing, but there is somebody whom you are not, you are not in you doing. God is telling you today, Confess, Don't not account what is done to you. Don't not think about it. Prepare your way. In the revival which came in Congo in 64, there was a revival. I remember the day I was in the hospital and the nurse said, I am the one who killed your child. Praise the Lord. If you are in that hospital and you are the one who killed your child, if you are in that whole you don't count the evil or the, 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 the Even though he did some wrong things to you, you don't count it. Leave and go ask forgiveness. And God will forgive you. And God will bless you. And God told Cain, if you do good, you'll be blessed. Because God saw a raid in his heart if he was already against Abel. Hallelujah. Amen. Go prepare with your brother. Go and arrange with your brother. Church to the church, let arrange. The ch I mean, singers to the singers, let be prepared, let arrange yourself. There are singers who are singing nice, and there are preachers are preaching nice. But you can see in the church there is a some groups. What he wants somebody's preaching is preaching about somebody. There is no word of God. Once they compose the song they sing about other, other singers who are going to another church. There is no song of prepare the way. God is telling us let's go prepare, prepare ourselves. Amen. Let's go arrange, arrange with our brothers. Yeah, pastors, the pastors, let's arrange. Churches to the church, just confess to each other. Singers to the singers, confess to each other. God is about to come. The Lord is about to come. The Lord is about to come. Hallelujah. Amen. We are still having time. We are still having time. We are still having time. To so listen to the word of God. The one who died and found himself saying, go to the You are saving time to call God and God will listen to you. Because where I am, I will not leave. Where I am, I am so troubling. I'm having so trouble. You are still having time to call God and God will listen to you. Call God and God and prepare yourself. Prepare your life. You are still having time. To call God and God will listen to you. The word of God told us the word of God is for, God is for those who are still alive. Not the one who are already dead. Is the is God of those who are living? Praise the Lord. Father, mom, go and arrange yourself. Maybe you are singing here. Once you go back home, it's a yeah. problem. That mom came again. Where am I going? 
Once we come in the house, the fire. There's my father saying, Where am I going to go? And the work in the house of the Lord, you are doing the miracle. It's your time to prepare. It's my time to prepare. Praise the Lord. You are still having time to arrange yourself. And hold tight the gift that God gave to you. The gift that has been given, use it. Praise the Lord. We are going to finish to the last one. We know uh, Joseph heard the voice of God. The voice, the voice which was in him. We know his brother sold him. His brother sold him. They were about to kill him. But Samuel, Samuel his brother, said, no, do not kill him. Let drop him in, in the pit. And once the people, we saw the people from uh, Egypt, um, Egypt will sell him to them. And when those people from Egypt came by, they said, we do have some... Uh, sell or selling some item to sell. They sold him. We are going to pick to the big weights. When he went over there, and then Potiphar took him. He was in the seventh in that house. Amen. We, we know he was with a God in him. He was listening to the gift in him. Hallelujah. Amen. A we call. know we know we know the story about how the wife of Potiphar wanted to lay down with him. But Joseph refused. I said, I'm hearing the voice of God. Praise the Lord. Say, no, I will not sin. I will not invoke that kind of sin. He ran, he went out. And when he wanted she, she held the, the cloth and then start crying. You see, you brought an Israelitist to come destroy me in my house. Because Joseph refused. And the hand of God was upon him. The blessings of God was upon him. But the word what I want to share with you. When they had, they were hungry Baba in yake pain. Na, yake na yake na na and the brothers, brothers and the, the father, when they were hungry, they, they sent, the father sent the children to go buy the food in Egypt. There were so many words, great words, God, God blessed Joseph in that, in that time. When he was in the prison, he had, I mean, they get a dream, and the dream was difficult for them. And then he said, Among two of you, one will be destroyed, another one will be free. And the one whom they took to Wakati the place where they the ndoto, king, when the king saw a, a, a dream, ndani ya inchi yota, kuna mtu they looked in the whole city, nobody could translate. And that seven said, no, in the prison there was a person who revealed, who opened the dream that way, that's why I was, so, I was free. Amen. He is filled with the Holy Spirit. The, the boy who is filled with the Holy Spirit. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit, the Lord will use you. And then they went to took him up there. And they went to the king. Then king told him. King had two, uh, two dreams. There was a dream of seeing I uh, saw a big car. Seven cars were so big, and seven others were so slim. And the, the slim one swallowed the fat one. 
When they swallow them, they remained a slim at the world. And the king was so troubling. And then when they all said, nobody could translate. Then God bring him so we can hear. When they brought him, and then he started translating. He said, this translation came from God. It doesn't come from me. Praise the Lord. You do have that grace from God. Do not say I am only the one who is doing this job. God gave you a gift. Don't say I am only the one. That place is a place for is a place. That is place. And Joseph said there is a great God who translates to you. And he's the one who translates to you. It's in your Siri, in your country, you will be having the seven years of crops. And after that, you will be having seven years of hungry. Right. Amen. And then. Come again. Joseph and then Joseph started or, or, or organizing everything. And now, many people who pass through the camp, we know they always keep the food in the big tent. In every city, in every street, in every province, uh, build a place where you can keep the food. And the once people, they grow up, they, they, they get the food, the food, and then the, the fruit are ready, keep in those houses. In all those, in, the, in all those uh, provinces, they did that in that, those three, seven years, they did the same. And seven years, others came of, of uh, hungry, and then once that time arrives, they go in those houses and then in the store, get the food, start eating. Amen. And that was the way of the Israelites to go to Egypt. We heard they went to live in Egypt. That was the way of the Israelites. Hungry or dryness came in the whole country. Jacob with the children, they had no, there is food in Egypt. Before that, once we go back a little bit, we heard the, the, the dream of Joseph when he was telling his brothers. He, he was in the mirror and some of the... The bundle started falling down because the, the Holy Spirit was in him. And some, another day, he saw a dream of the, the stars were falling down. And then he saw, he saw the moon and the sun come in front of his, his stars start bowing down. And that way, his brothers were so angry with him. Because why are you only the one who are dreaming like that? Now we are going to where we were already. Seven years came of hungry. People that were buying the food in the storehouse. And then the king said, Joseph, are you the one who will be now the, the ruler with the, all this storehouse? We remember in the camp when they were giving us seven, seven bottle of oil. Sometimes they take one out. And when they had in Egypt is where there is food, they go back. They go buy the foods. When they arrive, they know already Joseph was already there. Now that time is the one who was already the ruler. Praise the Lord. And then he started giving them the food. And he knew those are my brothers. He didn't tell them anything. They went back with the food. Again, yeah, in the Kirundi, there is such kind of proverb. In that kind of proverb. And they ate and they went back. They went back again. 
one day they went to buy Joseph Joseph when saw them start crying cried and weeping so his brothers coming to buy the food and they said, people go out, go <laughs> behind. His brothers said, take them in that kind, in the, that room. And then they were troubling, uh, they were trembling, said they, 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 they would, would not give us the food. When they arrived in the house, he told them, you are my brother. I am the Joseph whom you sold. And then they were afraid. I said, no. It was God's way to let you. So God prepared so you can survive. Praise the Lord. If you brought you do something wrong, you, you cannot answer it. Because you don't know the way of God where he's preparing it. Joseph started crying. He said, no, you cannot keep going and coming. Keep going. No. Go tell my father and my, 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 my parents to come down. When they told, when they told Jacob, that your, Joseph is still alive. He said, no, Joseph is already died. They came. They came seven people. And then the king told Joseph, look in this, in this country where your family will be living. He went them to Goshen. Really, where they lived, they, 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 they gave so many children. They increased. What I'm saying, prepare. Were you with a brother prepare? When you have forgiveness in the rest, let them that love, let them that unity in the work of God. And God will bless us. Praise the Lord. This time is the time to, 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 to run yourself. yourself. We just listen to the word of God. God. We are still listening to the word of God. Once you go out of here, go and arrange yourself on faith. And the hand of God will be upon you. And God will bless you. Let us stand up so we can pray to God. Praise the Lord. And God bless God to help us. In, 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 in the great God, the gift that God gave to you, use it as God wanted. Don't not work according to your will. Whatsoever God, God gave to you, may God bless you. Work in His way.
have many young people to hear more like the same but that they are not only you the blind those who are calling this is your time go tell them those who are calling Wako 
kupita kase Bwana kusamehe damu ya Yesu ikuta kase damu ya Yesu ikuta kase damu ya Yesu ikuta kase simama sasa simama sasa enenda katika sauti enenda katika wito huu ama umeusikia leo jioni usirudi kufanya dhambi tena kaza mwendo kaza mwendo kaza mwendo ukijitumania mende ya uzima wa milele hasi la goreti
Make up your feet. Now was like this. Who can tell me the time? What time is it? What time is it? The sixth day of it. Blow, I mean, we are coming close to 7 p.m. Now, they gave us this building. They gave us the building. We are leaving here by nine, I mean, uh, 9 p.m. If we leave before <laughs> by 9 p.m. Na viongozi wangu wanasema tuna ibada lingine. And my servant are saying we do have another service. Alafu now kule jikoni kule in the kitchen wenyeji wako walijua kwamba hii tafuna tafuna hii wewe umeshazoea ku. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Mega bless you. They say we already used with something of holding not a, a chewing all the time. Sasa uangalie huu muda. Now look at this time. Kama sasa hivi tumeenda mwendo wa saa moja. We are close to uh, 7 p.m. Mpendwa. Brother. Uandaliwe ile meza. If they prepare that a table for you. Yale masaa yote ya ibada kwa saa 3. All those. Yataishia kwenye ile meza. All those service of uh, for 3 hours it will remain only it to just finish with on that table. Am I saying nicely? Am I saying nicely? And don't need to heavy. And I think this. And this is what the repair. Now I think about this. What are you saying? To ingie. Yani to pumzike kidogo kidogo tu. So we can rest a little bit. Samoja kamili to ingie. I mean, uh, 7 p.m., let's start the service. Na sambili, na nusu, and by 8.30, let's finish the service. Sa tue mezani, na wewe. 9 p.m., let's be on the table together. Tukimaliza, tunagana. Once we finish, we just say bye-bye to each Tunaenda other. Kupumzika. Now we go for the rest. Ili kukutana tena kesho. So we can meet tomorrow. Lakin tukisema kwamba ndani ya dakika hizi hapa. And if we say in this few minutes. Njoo machupa ya anze kukongadisho kwenye meza. Njoo tuende now so that we can go on the table. Akia mungu ibada itabaki ni yoyo meza hapa. Or I tell you the service will remain on that table. Ndoku siyo kweli. It's not like that, brother. Is the truth? No, you are shaking your head just a little bit. Thank you very much. If you understand, you will be doing nice way. It will be nice. Um, search first the kingdom. And the, and the freedom you are receiving it in the word of God. And other things are just uh, normal things. May God bless us. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow. I'm, I'm following the, the they say we will announce in the evening service I am a humble child I'm going in the pro I'm going with the program yeah I'll help you a little bit hallelujah amen um, kama vile eh, pastor Anna anatoka kusema as she just mentioned kwa kweli tunajua wanachoka na samahani zaidi kwa sababu kuko joto i'm so sorry because this room is a little bit warm na mmekuwa you are here because you love the Lord. I am I just I mean I don't have my tie but uh, sweating so much. Like that. That. I'm trying to swallow it like that. Kwa kusema eh, program ya kesho to talk about tomorrow program na hii program ambayo tumeanza tumeanza tume leo and the program that we just start today nafikiri 
kuchukua dakika 30 tupumzike turudie twende moja kwa moja if we can take only 30 minutes and then come back continue straight itakuwa ni vizuri unajua mtu akimaliza kula na kausingizi kanaza ni kwenda yeah. kulala moja kwa moja i think it's a better idea to continue because once you eat you will start sleeping dozing wherever you will be na ilivyo kuwa programu ya kesho and as it was tomorrow program watu wenye wametuazima kanisa hii people who gave at this church wamekuwa na ibada kesho tangia mpaka saa tano. they do have the service uh, the service will end by 11 a.m. And it, it probably once they'll be going out will be coming the same time. Kesho, Tomorrow we do have enough time for the rest. Na kutoka satan, paka sanane, and from now, I mean from 11 to 2 p.m. Tutajaribu kufanya mambo yote haraka watu wenye kusafiri tuhakikishe kwamba saa 7 na nusu saa 8 watu wanamaliza wanakula wanachoma gari. We will try to do, to do to go quick so that those who come from far away they can go on their time. Na hivyo na swali la Pastor Iron kwa kujua watu wawe na mawazo vile program ya kesho kuna mambo. I just answer her question according to how they Tuvumilie, Kesho, let be humble it means the service tomorrow will start around 11 a.m. that i think if it could it could be the service in the morning we could finish right now